Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kitty Mary and uh, I'm a little bit sick. You could probably tell from my voice. It is the season! Anyway, it's a couple of days before Christmas and from now on and until New Year's I'll be staying at friends and family's houses and I'll be, you know, tending to my Christmas New Year's Eve plans. Which means I won't be home a whole lot. So I've tried, I sort of, I've come up with a challenge for myself, basically, to avoid food waste. What I want to do is buy as few groceries as possible. I have my cabinets absolutely stocked with so many different things and I so often forget them or end up doing, you know, like the recipes I usually just do and the things that I crave. So I have all this food in my kitchen right now that I'm not using. So from now on and until New Year's, I will be shopping as a little as possible. Obviously, I'll still be buying fresh greens and produce, etc. But for the majority of the time, I will see how little I can shop and how much I can just use the things that I already have. It's gonna be a fun challenge. I am a little bit skeptical because when I crave a certain dish, I always just wanna make it. I don't wanna wait weeks until I can make it. I just wanna do it now, which means that soft stuff like food prepping I've tried in the past, it didn't really work out. I'm excited to see if this works. Anyway, I actually started the challenge yesterday. So yesterday I had udon noodles, a curry and peanut sauce and spring rolls. We're gonna do that for lunch in a second. So you get to see that too. Other than that, I will see if I can do that with dinners and with lunches, etc. See how much of it I can do and take you guys with me and show you sort of my impromptu thinking on my feet kind of recipes we'll come up with to avoid food waste and also save a lot of money in the holidays. Let's do this! So today's lunch is going to be a noodles, a curry sauce and the rest of my spring onion. I made this the other day and I made a lot of leftovers. So let's just reheat this. This is the only like fresh um, leftovers that I have in my fridge. So let's reheat these things and um, and have that for lunch. Oh my god, that was a word. And here we have my lunch, which is just leftovers. We have the curry sauce with peanuts, carrots, then we have our noodles, primarily udon, but other noodles mixed into it as well, I'm so sorry, and spring rolls. Hello guys, it is December 23rd, and uh, my family is coming over tomorrow morning, and we're gonna have Christmas. I... I'm so craving takeout. I just really want to buy takeout today, but I just started this challenge and I feel like it's low-key embarrassing to already order takeout. So, I've looked in my cupboards, I've looked in my pantry, I have looked in my freezer, and we're making something else. Okay, so I have a little bit of rice, and this is actually a really awkward amount of rice. Just one second. Do I have a bowl so I can show you the amount of rice that I have? Yes, maybe. <coughs> So I have like this really awkward amount of rice left that's not really good for two people, I don't know. This is the amount of rice that I have, this is actually quite nice, this is a lot. This feels like an awkward amount for more people, so it's perfect for this. Then I have a head of broccoli, and in my freezer, aha, underneath this piece of cloth, I have a tiny bit of freezer burned chili sin carne. Reheat this in the microwave in a sec. And uh, we're gonna do like a little bowl, some rice, some chili, some greens. Okay. I have my dinner. By the way, shout out to storing in the freezer your leftovers in a metal tin, which means that you cannot reheated in the tin, in the microwave, because it's metal. By the way, this was enough for two people, this amount of rice. Uh, I even snacked a little bit on it while I was waiting for my chili sin carne. You live it and you learn it. And then we have, I just steamed the broccoli really fast as well, so we're just gonna pour that on top. Big bowl of leftovers. However, I would like to address that it does sound just so vain and embarrassing to, uh, to sit here and have the most luxury problem in the world, which is I have too much food, I want to order takeout, but I have to eat the food I have at home. Sometimes I say things and then I hear it afterwards and just cringe. <laughs> That's literally, it's literally not a problem and I'm embarrassed for having said that. Anyway. Perfect. 
It's the 24th of December, my family is coming over in a couple of hours. I've already been prepping quite a lot, so I have the Christmas table ready and everything. But for lunch today, we're back on the challenge, baby. And I'm just gonna take a look at my pantry and see what we have. It is a huge surprise to everybody that I have pasta. I have pasta there and there and there and there. And okay, so let's empty this jar of pasta. So it's gone. For real. The uh, get up is a little bit casual. I'm gonna put on some nice clothes later, but right now and for just for the next couple of hours, I'm just chilling. Um, in my freezer, I found some spinach. So I think we're gonna make a pasta spinach dish. I also have some vegan cream in the fridge. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. I think I have onions. I do. We need a little bit of onion. Onion, garlic. This is a dish, I don't care. And I have vegan cream. The dish is making itself because we also have nutmeg. <coughs> Chopped onion and garlic. Let's fry it. All the pasta in the land. I also chopped up the spinach super nicely so I hope we can get a nice creamy sauce from this. I think I want the sauce to be super nice and creamy and just one texture instead of having chunks of things inside it. I also definitely like those kinds of sauces, but I think I want something else today. So we're just gonna blend everything together in the sauce to make this nice creamy base. I am just letting the sauce boil up really fast just to get it nice and starchy and a little bit thicker. In the meantime, I found, I at some point, I don't know when, chopped up a lot of hazelnuts. So we're gonna use this as garnish on top and just give it a little bit of a different texture to make the dish nice. Honestly, I think it's important that you always have every single ingredient to make a good pasta dish at any given point in time. I don't think a house is a home before that. <laughs> and we have pasta. It is yet another day and uh, I just thought about something. So one thing that could be fun to do sort of in context of ridding myself of things in my pantry would be to organize it a little bit as well. So uh, let's start with the spice drawer because I recently got some more spices that I have been missing. Um, so I have some of my spices up here and then I have some in this drawer. I'm gonna put them all out on the table and then we're gonna organize them, yeah. I low-key don't even remember what everything is, so we'll need to figure that out as well. Here we have what can only be described as the front gate of hell. This can definitely be more organized, and it's going to be. So uh, here we go, so all the spices. I will go through all of them to see if they're still any good. There are some of these that I haven't touched or looked at or thought about in ages. So uh, we'll go through them and if there's anything that needs to be used now, I'll do that. I think this looks a lot better. I can find my things super easily and uh, can also see what everything is. I really need my own label maker because putting these small labels on here does help out uh, quite a bit. Only I know, and I know what these things are, but it makes it really difficult if people are helping you cook and I just go find, and then they have to guess, is this paprika, tomato powder, uh, what is it? What is it? Cayenne pepper? What is it? Is it cinnamon? What, what is it? So today I am eating the rest of my vegetables. We have the rest of the fresh produce that I have in my house. And we're gonna make a salad. I am boiling some water just for a little bit of pasta. We have the small ones. Love those. And then I just made a quick curry dressing by adding oat milk, curry powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper recipe, um, to the rest of my mayo and just close the lid up and shook it a little bit. So now we have a dressing. And then I'm also frying up some of the uh, vegan nuggets that I had in my freezer. Pantry meal! Mm. And here we have the finished salad. I am so excited to have some fresh greens and some pasta. I am in the mood for something super greasy and just very satisfying and I have the perfect idea. So I have this bread just chilling on the counter and I thought, hear me out, I want to make a sort of vegan holiday feast leftover sandwich. Sort of like the moist maker from Friends, but with whatever I've got. And I think I got 
all the components. So the main components are the bread. Then I have this muck duck that's been marinated in beer and I think it's gonna be really, really great as a leftover. We have mayo, we have red cabbage, which is a staple on the Danish holiday table. Then we have pickled uh, cucumber. We also have raw cucumber. I have some pea sprouts, just, you know, health. And then I have just a few leftover fried onions. This is a Christmas leftover. We need some sort of gravy. One second. In this drawer, I have um, just um, everything. This is both projects that I've been working on. This is things I've been buying to make dinner for other people. And just, it accumulates very easily. I have my parents' tea and coffees here as well, but I think I have, yes. Okay, so I normally don't use this because I like to make my own gravy, but the knorr gravy, like the brown one, is just vegan. You just add water and your plant-based milk to it, and then it's vegan. So we're gonna make this for the dish. And also, I have some crisps. These are also from the holidays. We'll add those in as well. Let's make a vegan moist maker. So, the gravy. I'm sure they put measurements on the box. We're gonna ignore those and just do our own thing. Just gonna add a deciliter of water and a deciliter of plant milk. Doesn't have to be good, it just has to be greasy. I'm just gonna heat all the components, by the way. So we're gonna cut up the bread and toast it in the oven for a sec. Then I'm just gonna pop the red cabbage in the microwave. And of course, we are gonna fry up the mock duck. Okay. This is by far the sloppiest sandwich I have ever made in my entire life. I have no soul. This is in the name of anti-food waste. I don't want to do this. I just feel like for the environment, I kind of have to. I'm so crazy. Mm. The good thing is, now I don't have any Christmas food left over. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!